Hey everybody, it's been a while since I put out a video, yet nonetheless, I'm going to be answering in this video a couple questions that uh, my Instagram followers had sent me. Um, a lot of them are pretty interesting and cool, so sit tight and uh, see some of the questions that uh, some of my followers have asked. So first question actually comes from RT Kapoor. Uh, the question is, one of my biggest fears is my enamel eroding away. What's the best way to prevent that besides avoiding citrusy, acidic foods and using a straw for drinks? Any way to rebuild enamel and strengthen enamel? That's actually an excellent question. Um, so one of the best ways to actually rebuild enamel to uh, what we like to call it is remineralizing the tooth structure is just using a, a toothpaste that's very high in fluoride. So one of my best suggestions would be using prescription strength uh, fluoride that's actually called Prevident. You can get that from your dentist and in about 10 days or so if you follow the instructions uh, you're going to start remineralizing tooth structure if the enamel hasn't been decayed uh, to a point that's uh, kind of irreversible and you need to actually start drilling into the tooth structure. Question number two is asked by Obata Douglas and he asks, uh, just wondering what would you recommend to use when studying for the DAT? Um, a must for me are Chad's videos. That is something you should be doing every single day and you should be doing those quizzes at the end of the Chad's videos as well numerous times. Another thing is DAT Q Vault and also um, DAT Destroyer. Those are absolute must to me. And after that, anything that you can get your hands on that has a ton of different questions will definitely help you. And YouTube videos for the PAT section. Those have awesome tips and tricks and they're free as well. So, mm, uh, asks, was it hard for you to decide to go into debt for dental school? What were your thoughts? Um, honestly, to me, it wasn't a hard decision to make because dentistry is my passion. And I believe that you should not be concerned about going into debt if you're going to be following something that you love, if you're going to be following your passion. Because if you work hard and you excel at it, the money is going to come. You have to just dedicate yourself to your craft. And at the same time, dentistry is a profession that you will be making a lot of money at the end of the day. So I would not be worrying about uh, going into debt. Just don't be making ridiculous impulse buys when you graduate, buying things that you can't afford. Um, and at that point, you'll be able to kind of gauge for yourself uh, how much debt you're going to be having once you graduate. And don't be worried about that type of stuff. Do what you love and give it your all, whether it's dentistry or not. Shiza Pervez asks, is it okay to take a gap year before applying for dental school? Uh, could this gap year be used to prepare for the DAT or gain some sort of experience? I'm all for taking a gap year. I actually did take a gap year. And as long as you're taking a gap year to do something productive that you can make your uh, application, your resume look better, then by all means, go ahead and do it. What I did was I worked at a perio office, um, five days out of the week, and I volunteered um, doing free dental care, working at these dental clinics where I got to be a dental assistant. So like I said, as long as you're doing something that's going to beef up your, your application, by all means, go ahead and do it. But my suggestion for taking the DAT is to take it uh, the summer before you actually apply to dental school. And finally, last question brought by LeeMorrow.hs. Uh, she asks, what is your favorite book? Uh, so far, my favorite book is uh, The One Thing by Gary Keller. Uh, he's a real estate investor, uh, mastermind, who created this company called Keller Williams Realty. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it's one of the biggest in the United States. And this guy just gets it. He tells you in this book what you need to be doing to focus on that one thing that you need to be focusing on in your life. It's different for everybody, um, but it shows you how to figure out what that one thing is. So check it out. I love it, and a lot of my friends have read it as well, and they said the same thing. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, if you guys like this, please hit subscribe, like this video, and if you guys have any other questions about dentistry or anything else, uh, go ahead and just send them my way. Uh, you can also go ahead and follow me at on Instagram at Pat the Dentist. Um, be more than happy to answer anything you guys got on that, or I can make another video at some point in the future. So just send them my way.